Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Oh, come on, you serious? Hey, hello, all you Wookiee Warriors. How are you guys doing today? So, today's video, I promised you guys I'd make a video. Um, there is a small change to the video, as I stated in my stream. Um, I will not be doing the unbandaging on video. Uh, because of the fact I had to wash it right after I get I managed it and you guys don't want to see, well it's not like it was like really gross or anything but um, I'll, I'll go into that, into that in the video in a little bit um, but so for that reason I did not show me on bandaging it um, I'll be tilting the camera in just a sec to tell, uh, show you guys the tattoo um, but to keep, uh, letting you guys know, I am taking good care of it. Uh, you do have to take good care of your bandages, uh, bandages uh, of your tattoo before, um, after you get tattooed. It is not just a process of you going into the tattoo part, getting your tattoo done, and let's go have a few drinks. Only in the movies you see that. Um, there is a bit of an effort for two weeks while you are getting, while your tattoo is getting healed. Um, I will be going over some of that with you guys in case you guys want to get a tattoo as, um, on your own. Um, and I'll give you guys some of the, let you guys uh, have some of the experience. I want uh, share some of the experience I did with you guys. Or I went through with you guys. I'm sorry. I'm still in the process of waking up. Um, as you probably can tell by my hair. Even though the, my hair is grinding to grow back. Um, so, uh, let me show you guys a tattoo. Here we go. There you guys go. Um, initially, when I went for the tattoo, um, he was going to stretch it out so it goes like this. And it really looked funky. Like, it just didn't look right. Um, so I asked him if, he recite, uh, if he could recite it for his recommendation. And he said, yeah, I can do that. Uh, so he did. And this is kind of how it turned out. He gave me another suggestion, but... There's a re big reason why I wanted it this wanted this is because I like the fact that it has no eyes. Well, it has eyes, but you know what I mean. It doesn't have like irises or anything like that. It doesn't look angry. It just looks majestic. Um. So when I was going for my tattoo, the first thing he does is he gets puts on a piece of paper. Uh, if you guys remember, like when you were kids, were kids. Yeah, I don't know if you guys did this or not. Um. You get those uh, tattoos where you put on your mouth, your arm, and you dab it in uh, with water. Then you push it down for a little bit, and then you pull, peel it off gently. And you get a tattoo. It's very similar to that for the first stage. So because he does that, he peels it off and gives you the on um, the outline. And then he gets you all prepped. Well, even before he does the outline, he does shave your um, your arm. So my arm is a little sh is actually shaved, so there's that. Um, but once he gets you ready, you're sitting in the chair. Um, it's really it was not. I was actually psyching myself out because when I only experience I ever had with tattoos was uh, the the ones you press on your your bot your arm and dab it with, with wet uh, water and peel it off, and you can always take it off. Um, or I was watching, I watched movies and like the shows, the, the things I, every time I watch a TV show, um, like for instance, Supernatural, when Kevin Tran is getting a tattoo, he's like yelling at the top of his lungs, his mom's just like, whatever, and gives his hand, gives her hand to him, and he's like, it's okay, I'm right here. Or I'm watching, um, like Fun with Dick and Jane, or something like that, and the tattoo parlors are always way out of context. Um, but the tattoo parlor I went in, and I'm sorry I couldn't I couldn't show you guys the tattoo parlor. Um, there were restrictions, um, but it was nice enough to let me take some pictures for you guys and for um, my family. Um, it was it was at first like when we first started. I won't lie, the first little bit hurt. But after he started progressing on the tattoo, he, it was great. Like, it, I wouldn't say it was great, but it was, it didn't hurt. 
until he got to some more, more sensitive parts of my uh, my arm, which I didn't know it was sensitive until you get you you wouldn't know that until you actually go get tattooed. And my sensitive like for sensitives, it's like right here, here, and I think like a little here and here. But that's that was it. The, uh, aside from those parts, it really didn't hurt much. At best, it would hurt. It felt like it was like hot, like vibrating heat on your arm. Um, and that was the outline. Like he says, the outline is the one thing that actually hurts the most. Um, and the thing is, um, when I look, keep on looking at, I've been prepping myself for the tattoo for months, for years. Um, I've been looking at down at my arm, and I keep on envisioning it. Like I'm looking down at it. I'm, not, I'm like, oh, okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. So when I look down on it, it's just now it's a reality. It's not like I have to imagine it's there. It's there. Um, the next phase, um, if you guys look, uh, saw the pictures on Discord, um, that was just the outline. Next phase of this was the fit, the coloring. No, I did, I could have gone with some different colors, but I really just wanted it black. Um, so he did the did that one. No, when he does the color, that's five needles constantly going at it. Um, it does feel a little bit more different than the one because I think that's just a single needle going at it, going on your um on your arm, and. It feels more like if someone uh, like taking fingers and going like this. That's kind of what it felt like. Sorry for shaking the camera, but if that's what it kind of felt like. It was like a mass, like someone pushing paint. Uh, well, it was it was painful at first, but then like I said, it, it got like I, I stopped noticing it, and I wasn't always focusing on. It. I was actually looking at his art, the, the tattoos he'd done previously. I was looking at his album. Um. It's a little bit more vibrating. Uh, well, the first one was vibrating, but it was more like dick, dick, dun, 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 dun. This one just felt like, and it just felt more like, uh, like your somebody was somebody was vibrating something on your arm. That's pretty much what it was. Like I said, until it got to the more sensitive parts of my arm. Um, my advice: if you're gonna go for a tattoo, don't. Don't be like, ooh, that looks pretty. Um, let me tilt my camera back up so you guys can see me. So, when you go for a tattoo, guys, I would not recommend you going for something, ooh, pretty. Like, like let's say you're playing a video game and someone has a really cool looking tattoo. Like, oh, I want that. But then you get the tattoo and now it's on you forever. There's there's no washing these. Oh, my camera won't let me show you. There's no um, there's no turn. There's no washing this off. There's no taking it off. It's on there forever. So when you go for a tattoo, make sure you know what you want and that you're going to be happy with it. And not like two years, five years down the road, you, you don't like it anymore. And now you're stuck with it. Take your time and think about what you want. Make sure it is what you want. That you really want a tattoo. Because um, this is going to be a part of you till the day you... It's going to be worth you forever. <laughs> um... What else can I say about this? Oh, so let me tilt the camera back down. So the reason I got this tattoo, and I'll be explaining what this tattoo will mean, what, what this one will, is going to mean uh, when I get it. Um, and then I'm going to tell you guys about the, how to take care of them, and basically how I've been instructed to take care of it. Um, one. This tattoo represents the tenets of me. What um, it says about me. Now, obviously, people, someone's going to look at it and like, oh, that's cool, tribal tat. But to me, 
it means there's a lot of meaning behind it. And I'm going to explain what it means to you guys right now. And which is one of the reasons why I have the camera tilted at the tattoo. Um, one, it may presents courage. So I'll start with that one. Courage because, and I'm not trying to be like all get too personal in this one, but um, in, li in life, in, in life in general, it takes a lot of courage to continue going. It takes a lot of time, a lot of courage after you've fallen down to keep going. Um, and I have no for I know that I have stumbled quite a bit in my life. I have made mistakes. I have um, wasn't always uh, the person you guys see. I I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I could have easily just said no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna let life defeat me, and just that's it. Instead, I picked myself back up, and I tried again. That's the courage portion of it. The next tenant of the tattoo represents loyalty. Uh, to those people who know me, I'm a very, very loyal person, um, a very loyal friend. To those, I'm very loyal to my friends and family. Like you have to do quite a bit for me to ever stop being a friend or ever stop caring about people I know um, but that's the that's that tenant the next one represents wisdom and I can already see someone saying well how can you see a wolf and see wisdom because every time I look at a wolf I do see wisdom um, and in my life I have gained a lot of wisdom and that wisdom was not easily gained it was very hard to earn. Uh, it was earned. It was very hard to learn those lessons, and I grew wiser from it. But um, that's what the this tattoo represents: is lo uh, courage, loyalty, and wisdom. I had thought about getting like orbs at the bottom of my arm here, showing the the letters of the tenants, but I I don't know if I want to do that. Sorry for my thumb being away at the camera. Um, so, that's the tattoo, my experience, what the have to represent, and the meaning. Um, let me talk about the care. So, as you guys saw in the stream, I, was, I did not take the bandage off because my artist told me that I should keep it on for 24 hours. Even though it's recommended four hours, he said 24 hours to keep the bandage on. And 24 hours elapsed exactly at 120. Um, oddly enough, the the tattoo didn't itch. It, um, it was the under the parts that was not tattooed got itchy. <laughs> um, so after I removed the tattoo, um, what ha what the tattoo looked like? It was basically um, a whole bunch of ink, which is normal. So if you guys do get a tattoo and you're like, oh my god, the ta there's ink, don't worry about it it's perfectly normal for ink that's why I, I, I talked to my tattoo artist like yeah, most of this is gonna happen is maybe some liquid might come out or some ink will come out and that's what happened is ink came out um, now what I basically use and he recommend he told me to use this was what's called dial gold um, so I bought a packet of that. Oh, well, it's a big packet because that's the only size they had. It didn't have it's just single bars. Um, so I have to scrub that. I think it's twice. Use that twice a day, and to keep it clean. Now it's um, antibiotic. Um, so so make so make sure you use that. Um, now don't like scrub it like you're trying to scrub your body clean. Be very gentle like I was just like gently caress <laughs> sorry for the wording because I don't know any other word I was gently caressing the tattoo just gently touching it 
with this power soap just going around uh, I think I did it twice um, I'll probably do it once next time now because uh, I was washing away all the uh, the ink that had come out um, now you do not need to repack it uh, band so repackage rebandage it once you take the tap the bandage off you don't need to put it back on now what you do need to do is use the antibiotic soap wash it now what I use because I don't um, I don't want to hold it under water because that's what they say you don't want to do is I grab the um, cloth a uh, hand cloth I went I soaked it in warm water not hot warm but warm like more like a low warm um, um, water I, I soaked it the, the towel drank, uh, wringed it out and I gently just did the same thing gently touched it gently caressed it to wash the soap off and then after that's done what you're gonna want to do is get well this was provided by my uh, tat by my artist my tattoo artist uh, it was really nice of them um, this is actually I think their company brand so you can't uh, or it was provided by the company. I think he said you could find might find be able to find this on Amazon or something if you guys want to go that route. Um, then I showed him what my buddy recommended, my buddy Zach recommended, and he said this. Um, but I'm actually, but he, he took the tap. My artist told me to use up this before I use it. Use the Eclarin, I think it's called Eclarin. Uh, Make sure he told me to avoid a green called Lurserin alcohol, so that does not have this. Um, then after you do that, you want to make sure you spread it through the the, low, the cream throughout your whole on your whole tattoo. And then what I did uh, is I learned this from a video. Um, you don't want to saturate it, like you don't want to put like a thick layer. You want to make sure it's very, very thin because you want to make sure the tattoo can breathe. Um, take a paper towel, place it on the tattoo, and then gently tap it down. Don't like dry it; just kind of tap it down, and then take it off. And then if it's still kind of wettish, go again and tap it down a little bit more, and then take it off. Just kind of peel it off, and that's kind of what I just did. Why it's kind of like glistening, glistening. Because I did just put um, uh, the the gel on it, the cream, um, and then it takes up to two weeks. Now, what you want to do, uh, from my understand, um, you don't want to like, have it out in the sun, so make sure you wear a loose uh, long sleeve shirt. Um, another thing is like if you're going, if you work in a place where there's going to be a lot of dirt, a lot of dust and stuff like that you want to make sure you still wear another you want to make sure you wear a long sleeve shirt and I want to say this I mean I don't think I need to say it but make sure it's a clean long sleeve shirt um, like no dog hair no cat hair anything like that make sure it's clean and then put it on wear it that day and then wash it or if you want to go to the store and pick up like seven or different seven or ten shirts that's up to you um, I also uh, would say don't you go don't put your arm in anywhere that's hot like if you're like you're baking um, I didn't hear that but I'm just going on the side of caution and not like I was thinking about making hot wings today I'm probably not gonna make hot wings today because I don't because that requires me putting my arm in the oven to get the the pan and it's the same thing like if you have an open wound or a scabbed wound you don't want to put be putting heat on it so um, I won't be putting I won't be making hot wings anytime soon because um, I have an appointment in two weeks for this one which I'm still doing a bit of research because I want to make sure it means what I wanted to mean um, and I'll go over that when I'm video do I'm gonna make that one probably be a lot shorter than this one because I wanted to make, give you guys my experience and I also wanted to make sure you guys can uh, watch this if you guys ever get a tattoo 
because I know you guys are going to be nervous. If you guys are first tattoo ever, you're going to be nervous. I was nervous. It turned out I didn't need to be nervous, but it's the way, the way I explain it. It's the first time you ride your bicycle for the first time, or you get on a plane for the first time, or anything like that. You're going to be nervous because it's a new experience. Your body, you don't know what to expect. So your mind just kind of goes in that dark place, and it um, starts putting up like all these um, bad scenarios that makes you very nervous, even though you don't need to be nervous. Um, and that's what happened to me, is I just got very nervous. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough, um, thank my community enough so much for it you guys' uh, constant support and encouragement. Um, I don't think I got anything else for you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys have any questions, also I'd love to hear them. Um, if you guys like the video, you know where the, you know how that button works. <laughs> um, if you don't like it, it's fine. It's cool. Um, if you guys like this content and you guys want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, uh, have we have a Discord. We, our community is growing. It's a very healthy community. I'm very proud of it. Uh, if you guys want to be a part of that community, you guys can go ahead and hit that Discord link. I'm going to be putting that link in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all on the next adventure. Till next time, catch you later.